Hey guys, Sam here from Writesonic and in this video I wanted to talk about our brand new feature called Bulk Upload. So now normally when you use Writesonic, for example, you know, let's say if you wanted to generate some Facebook ad copy for your products, so you would find the Facebook ad copy tool, you would fill in a couple of details about your product, in this case, you know, your name, description, and optionally the occasion and promotion as well. And then you would hit the generate button and Writesonic will come back with a couple of different variations of Facebook ad copy for your product. Now, let's say if you wanted to do the same thing, you wanted to generate the Facebook ad copy for like hundreds or even thousands of your products. That's where it would get like really time consuming and it would involve a lot of effort from your side because you know you would be manually entering these details and then kind of generating the results, copying, pasting that or downloading that. So it's a very time consuming process. Now, we at Writesonic are always looking for ways in which we can streamline and simplify the lives of our users, just like you. Which is why we have come up with this brand new feature called Bulk Upload. So here I'm on the project dashboard and right next to the history tab, you'll find this new tab over here called Bulk Upload. Now what this feature lets you do is it, it lets you kind of upload an Excel or a CSV file, which has, you know, the data or the list of all of your products or, you know, let's say topics um, that you can upload. Writesonic's AI will generate the copy or the content for all of those um, input fields in bulk and it will let you download that file so that you can then, you know, upload it back into your CMS or you can upload it to the Google Ad Manager and, and so on. So without further ado, let's jump right into it and let me show you how it exactly works. So I'm here on this bulk upload tab as I had mentioned before. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is select the feature that I want to work with. Here we have about 60 different features. Most of these are short form features, article and other long form um, content types we are releasing very soon. But just now I'll just uh, kind of pick up, for example, Facebook ad copy. Then I'll select the language. As you know, Writesonic supports 25 different languages. So you can pick uh, whichever one you want. I'll go with English for now. And then the quality. Uh, if you want the best quality results, I would go with uh, you know premium. And then of course, if you want to save on your words uh, available in your plan, then you can also go to good or average quality based on you know like what kind of quality you're looking for. So once you kind of fill in these three fields, the next thing that you need to do is click this download template button. Now every feature that you select, you know, it requires a sp specific set of inputs for the AI to learn and generate uh, ad copy or, you know, let's say blog post or any kind of content based on that. So this is very specific to the feature that you are trying to generate. So click that download template button and this will download an Excel file. I'll quickly open it up and show you how it looks like. So let's zoom in a bit. And I'll just quickly expand the columns over here so we can read it better. So these four columns that you see here, um, these are the input fields or these are the, this is the set of information essentially that, need, that you need to provide about each product that you want to generate the Facebook ad copy on. So in this case, uh, one example we have already given, you know, let's take Writesonic as an example. So the product name would be Writesonic, product description, Writesonic makes it super easy and fast for you to compose landing pages and so on. And then you can also enter an occasion or promotion if needed. These two are optional fields, so you don't have to fill them, but if you want, you can. And um, each row in this file would correspond to one specific generation, essentially. So for example, let's say if I wanted to generate uh, some Facebook ads for Apple iPhone, so I, will, I would just enter Apple iPhone 13, best iPhone so far as the description. And uh, occasion and promotion, I'll just leave blank. And then I'll save it. And similarly, you know, you, you would kind of fill in other rows depending on how many products you have. So if you have 1,000 products, you would do like 1,000 rows with the data for those 1,000 products. Um, for the time being, I have already created a uh, a file based on that template, which has about eight different examples that I'll quickly show you. So these are the products that I've added, Apple iPhone 13, then, you know, Coursera and antivirus and so on. So I've added a bunch of different rows over here. So about eight rows. And now what I'm going to do is 
essentially um, just dump it into the drag and drop field over here. So this will um, kind of show up the file name here and the size once it has been um, you know, selected. And then all you need to do is click this upload and generate button. So what this would do is it will validate the file to see you know, if the inputs are proper, you know, all the fields that we need are present there. And then it will start the processing over here and you can check the status. Uh, you know, every few seconds it would refresh and it would kind of let you know once the file has been processed. Usually if you see, you know, it takes less than a minute, uh, but it really depends on how many rows you have in your file. So if you have more rows, it will take more time. In this case, you know, it has already processed our eight different Facebook ads. So I'll just click the download button over here. And here we have our generated results. Now here, you know, the first few columns, these are what we already, you know, entered. So we had Sonic, Bumble, Coursera, Apple iPhone 13, antivirus, and so on. And on the right hand side, you can see these are the different Facebook ads that were generated by Sonic for us. Lovely, right? Save so much time, you can kind of process hundreds or even thousands of products at once instead of having to do them manually one by one. So yeah, that's how it works. Let me quickly show you one more example. So let's say if we were to do tweets, Again, um, you know, I'll just click the download template button. Tweets would have a different format as compared to Facebook ads because we need different, uh, you know, the AI needs different inputs from you. So again, I'll zoom in. So here we just need the topic on which we wish to write the tweet on. One has already been uh, kind of given as an example for you. We can remove it if you want. So I'll put, uh, let's say marketing, I'll put spirituality, I'll put, startups. So let's try with that. So we'll have three different uh, tweet topics that we need to generate. And um, then I'll just go and drag and drop this and then click the upload and generate button over here. Just like before, it will start processing um, the tweets. It will feed in the topics that we provided. It will kind of generate a couple of tweets on each of those topics and it will uh, download the results once, once it's ready. All right, so the tweets have been processed now. Again, it took less than a minute to process them. And uh, we are going to hit the download button once again, just to see the tweets that Right Sonic came up with. And here you can see, so I added like five different topics over here. And uh, there are three different variations. So text one, text two, and text three. So three different tweet variations that Right Sonic came up with. And now you can basically, you know, copy paste these or, you know, go and you know, kind of post it on Twitter essentially. Now let me talk about some tips that will help you take the best advantage of this new bulk upload feature. So tip number one I would say is, you know, when you hit the download template button, uh, each kind of feature has a specific set of columns or a specific set of inputs that we require for, from you. To get a better idea of what exactly you need to provide in those columns, what I would recommend doing is, you know, go to the new copy page and search for that specific feature or specific content type that you wish to generate. For example, let's say if we wanted to generate song lyrics. So you would go here and um, this just gives you a good sort of um, reference on what you need to provide in those fields as input. For example, topic, uh, it's a required field because it's marked as red and it gives you an example, you know, it's like be my side forever. That's like the topic we want to generate our song on and genre you can provide uh, things like rock, pop uh, and so on. So this basically helps you kind of better understand what exactly Right Sonic's AI is looking for and then you can accordingly put that in the Excel file. So that's tip number one. Tip number two I would say is before you process like thousands of different rows or thousands of different products, I would say start with like two or three rows in the Excel file, just as a trial. So you kind of understand what exactly, um, you know, the AI is looking for, for that specific feature. Once you're happy with those two, three examples, then yeah, of course you can go and upload an Excel file, which has hundred or even thousands of rows and, you know, feel free to process it after that. So yeah, that's it for this video. We just wanted to quickly share this new feature with you guys. And as always, we are very open to any feature suggestions you have um, or any improvements that you are thinking in terms of bulk upload so that we can even fine tune it even further and help you kind of streamline your life even, even better. 
and um, yeah do let us know if you have any other feature requests and i will see you next time thank you